Are you bringing home a brand new golden retriever puppy, but you're not really sure whether you should be taking them to puppy classes or not? Well, we are here to help. Welcome back to the Fenrir Golden Retriever Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Golden Retriever and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. If you're weighing up the pros and cons of whether you should or shouldn't be taking your Golden Retriever puppy to puppy classes, look no further as today we're gonna to be tuning into a webinar that the canine behaviorist and founder of FenrirCanineLeaders.com, Will has recorded all about whether you should or shouldn't be taking your golden retriever puppy to puppy classes. So in today's webinar, we're going to discuss a question that I get asked all of the time, and it's one that we haven't actually discussed on any of our channels, and that is, should you take your puppy to puppy class? And the very quick answer is yes, but be very careful. And let me explain what I mean by that. Now, you guys know probably that we have our Perfect Puppy course. It's one of the biggest online education courses for training puppies in the whole world. It's something we're incredibly proud of. And so many people have gone through that course. And it um, honestly is one of the highlights of my career, being able to put that course together. However, one question that we often get from people going through the course is, well, if I'm doing your course, do I also need to go to a puppy class? And what if the teachers in the puppy class maybe disagree with some of the things that you say? Let's talk about it. So first of all, I want to focus on the main part of my thoughts on a puppy class and where I think far, far too many people go wrong with training their dogs because of puppy class. You absolutely cannot get a new puppy and think that because you're going to go to six training classes on a Saturday morning for an hour a pop for the 12 weeks to 18 weeks and think that you're going to have a perfect canine companion. That absolutely will not happen and far too many people think, I'm getting a new puppy, I'll take it to those puppy classes, <laughs> jobs are good and I've got a perfect canine companion. That is one of the biggest mistakes you can make getting your new puppy. The way a dog learns and the way it learns to be a perfect canine companion is every single second of every single day for the rest of its life and how you interact with your dog, the leadership that you display, forming the relationship that you have with your puppy that informs how well you can communicate, not only the things that you do want them to do, but oftentimes, much more importantly, the things that you don't want them to do. That way, you know how to get them to show appropriate behaviors, but you can also stop bad behaviors happening before they even start. To think that you can achieve that by not worrying about it other than six one-hour sessions on a Saturday morning when you first get your puppy is astronomically wrong. The whole focus around our Perfect Puppy course is focusing on those other minutes, other hours of every single day for the rest of your dog's life outside of those puppy classes. Now, that being said, does that mean that puppy classes are a waste of time and money? No, I don't think so. I think one of the incredible benefits you get from a puppy class is an excellent opportunity for formal socialization, usually in a pretty safe, uh, controlled environment. You also get to know other people that are going through the same things as you in your local area. So when the inevitable happens and you're pulling your hair out because your puppy is driving you mad, maybe you get a WhatsApp group or you can go make friends on Facebook and you can go, my dog's doing this. Is, is yours as well. Like, yeah, it's driving me mad as well. And you'll know that you're not alone. There's something about the reassurance of going through a difficult task with other people that can help you through those bad practices. And I think the puppy classes are an excellent way. It's also on the back of that, a touch point every single week to be able to go in and talk to those other owners. And if the trainer is a good trainer, you have got a professional on hand. Now, in those one-hour sessions, you're going to learn bits and pieces. You're going to get some valuable tips and tricks, but it definitely isn't going to be enough to train your puppy to a standard that would make it a perfect canine companion. However, again, there will be bits that you can take from it, and there is a professional with experience at hand that you can ask questions on, and hopefully we'll be able to give you a bit of feedback, a bit of help, and can guide you through the next week. So again, for me, around socialization and kind of just reassurance of having people and a professional at hand to be able to talk to makes puppy classes brilliant. Now, when you get onto the topic of any kind of dog training, naturally, there's lots of different theories, methodologies, principles, training programs, and it's the same in every warp of life. My big piece of advice there is 
to go with what you feel comfortable with, a, a program, a trainer, an educator that you resonate with and that makes sense. So if by watching our videos and my principle of good canine leadership in forming a wonderful, loving relationship that allows you to communicate effectively with your dog and getting them to what I class as a perfect canine companion who is wonderfully socialized, displays lovely manners day to day and masters basic obedience in terms of sit and stay quietly when I ask you to, walk nicely next to me and come back when I ask you to. If that really resonates, like, yes, that's what I want, then maybe our program, my theory, me as an educator to help you is a good fit for you. Maybe you might listen to me and think, I can't even hear what he's saying, that crazy English accent. And the stuff he waffles on about doesn't make any sense to me. That's absolutely okay. Then maybe go and find another trainer that you do resonate with, that does make sense to you. The big thing I want you to take away from it is that you must be consistent with whatever approach you're going to take. Implement that approach consistently. An inconsistent relationship with your dog will 100% of the time lead to anxiety and fear in your dog because it will not be able to trust that it can look up to you for consistent guidance and direction. Once that happens, that is the, the start of the snowball that will turn into the avalanche of poor behavior problems with your dog. So that's kind of my theory on puppy classes. Can be wonderful, but don't rely on them as your sole expectation for having a perfect companion. Use them as one of many different tools to build those building blocks to the perfect canine companion. And if you use it in that way, a touch point with people in real life, a good socialization opportunity, and maybe even make some friends on the way, then they can be a wonderful thing. Use it and don't put any work in around the uh, one hour a week. You're setting yourself and your dog up for massive levels of failure. So get after it, put the work in, and you will be able to achieve your perfect canine companion. There you have it guys, some really useful information from Will there, all about whether you should or shouldn't be taking your golden retriever puppy to puppy classes. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, get involved in the comments down below as we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we have two dedicated videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Fenrir Golden Retriever Show.